Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain how you can reuse a user-defined function. So reusing a function is basically a benefit of defining user-defined functions. So you might have uh, uh, implemented functions in C language, but you might uh, thought like what is the benefit of defining user-defined function? Because we are just separating logic uh, from main function to any other function. So we can implement that into main function as well. But in this video or after watching this video, you will get to know what is the benefit of implementing user-defined function or how we can reuse them, right? So for explanation purpose, I'm going to take an example of factorial program. So we all know that function have three parts, declaration, calling and definition. So let's declare a function. So here you can see this is the return type of function, then it is name of function and this is parameter type. So fact function will be receiving an integer as input and it will be returning as uh, an integer as output. So this first line is declaration of this user defined function. Now after this, I am defining main function. So let's say I have one variable and one whose value is five and another variable is f. So I'm going to calculate factorial, factorial of this n1 variable and the result will be stored inside f. So here I'm writing this f equals to fact n1. So this statement is function call and the result will be available into f. So it will be printed on output screen. So I'm writing factorial equals to f. So, so this way I implemented this main function, right? Now after implementing this main function, I'm going to write the definition. So, So I'm writing this int fact, then int n, right? And uh, this is i variable, then f is one. Then I'm applying a for loop, which will receive n times. It will calculate factorial. After completion of this loop, I can return value of f to main function. So this way, I hope you implemented functions and you might have thought why to uh, write this logic separately. Uh, we can merge this into main function as well. So by implementing this uh, function approach, we are uh, stretching our uh, line of codes, right? So now I'm going to resolve your doubt, like what is the benefit of implementing user-defined function? So let's understand this first. So after calling, control always transfers to its definition. So value of this n1 will be passed to this n variable and based on this n factorial will be available into f and that f will be returned back to this f variable. So this way this function works, right? Now, after calculating factorial of f, I want to calculate factorial of one more variable, right? So let's say I have another variable n1 as 6 and f1 that will be storing its result. So what I have to do, if I don't have any user-defined function, then inside main function, I need to implement for loop twice, right? One for 5 and one for 6. So if I want to calculate factorial of more than one numbers, I need to implement for loop again and again into main function. But if you have separate function, if you have separate function, which is particularly calculating factorial of any number, then in that case, you need to implement for loop only once. And then you just need to call that user defined function again and again. So now you will see how I, uh, I will be calling this function again so that I can calculate factorial of six as well. So after this printf, I'm writing f1 equals to fact of, sorry, here I'm writing n2. So 
So uh, mistakenly I mentioned n1 here. So n1 is having five, which of which we already calculated. So here it is n2, whose value is six. So here I am passing n2 as an argument, and the result will be available into f1. And I am writing printf factorial equals to cosine d and f1, and then I am closing main. So here you can see this definition is available only once. Definition is available only once, but calling statement is available twice. So same function definition I am calling more than one time without implementing or without repeating the logic. So this is the benefit of user defined function. You need to implement logic only once, just you need to call it again and again so that you can perform that operation uh, any number of times. So let's say this factorial function is having 50 lines of code. So by reusing this function, you reduce your 50 lines. Because if you have implemented these 50 lines two times into main function, so your code will be having 100 lines. But here you can see we implemented it once and we called it more than one time. So this 50 I took for example purpose. So in case of large user defined function, this is better to implement user defined uh, function approach so that logic will be implemented once and you can call it again and again. So first this call will be happen, n1 will be passed into n, it will be calculated, f will be returned here, it will be printed, then again this function will be called, now n2 will be passed into n. So here you can use any variable, if you are passing value of n1, n will receive value of n1, if you are passing value of n2, n will be receiving value of n2, then this return f will return value into f1. So we can use different names uh, while passing arguments or while returning values. So don't remember like we need to use same names. We can have different names as well. That will work uh, correctly. So here you can see F1 will be printed. So this way definition we have implemented once. Calling be done twice and declaration once. So this way you can increase this number but declaration and definition will be done once and calling you can do any number of times. So this was reusability of a user defined function. So I hope this way uh, by watching this video you understood the main advantage of a user defined function. So if you have one user defined function then that logic can be called again and again without writing whole uh, logic again. So this is the major benefit of using user defined function. So I hope you understood whatever I explained in this video. If you want to watch more programming related videos, go to description and see uh, various playlists related to C language. So you can follow C related videos there. Thank you for watching this video.